I'm Matt Brown, Angel's Team Photographer. People will ask how, you, how I got this job or what does it take to become a photographer. This is not a craft you pick up and you're lucky enough to be good at. You have to practice every day, all the time. And whether it's shooting food or baseball or aerial shots or lifestyle, you have to practice this craft. My job as a team photographer is not just document the 25 guys on the team, but as the whole organization. There are always little special moments when the game happens, but the stuff away from the field. And I want to capture those and let people see them and get a glimpse of what happens in those little moments with the players. So some of the photos I want to share with you are like this one that I, I really like. It's a photo of Mike Marin. He gets his first win and he's alone and he's texting his dad. It was a really nice, quiet little moment that I enjoyed capturing. This other moment, and I'm so glad that we got this, was with Vin Scully. Um, he's not traveling. This is his last year in the league, and he's not traveling much. Unfortunately, he did come down to our place. Again, we're lucky that our manager, Socia, is a Dodger, and so Vin and him have a relationship. Weaver was there, um, Trout was there, Mike was there, Alfredo was on the 88 team for the Dodgers, and we just had a little event quietly with him, and I got to be there, which was pretty special. Another one I want to show and share with you is uh, CJ Crone's first walk-off. And so when CJ got his walk-off, the first thing I wanted to do was to be at home plate with him and the teammates. And so in this photo, that's what I was able to capture. But anytime you get a walk-off, you're going to get the lovely body armor bath. And that was another image I wanted to capture. I love getting that at the end. Um, and he knew it was coming. And Alex Curry got out of the way because she's got fast feet now, and CJ just got hammered. And I loved that little image. As a father of three boys and two young boys right now, I know playing sports with them is really important. I saw Cliff and his son playing in the outfield, and they were playing a little game of baseball. Um, anytime you can capture the players with their kids, it's fantastic. Um, Weaver has his sons, and Houston's got his boys. So anytime you can get that interaction, that father-son dynamic, and the boys are here, it's really special because at one point, um, years ago, when we had Cecil Fielder, there was this young kid running around, Prince Fielder, and he was just this little pudgy kid. Years later, he's a professional baseball player. Another image that we have here is a young boy that was brought to the field with his father. Tim Mead set this up and Tim is great with these kind of things and this young boy he, he lost his leg in an accident and he has a prosthesis and maybe 30 years ago there was an incident where um, Reggie Jackson there was an incident with a young boy where he got burned at a, 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 in a bath and there's this beautiful photo of Reggie walking with the boy up the ramp and he's holding his hand and we have something similar to that where Tim and this young boy meet um, Escobar in the tunnel and Escobar takes the moment to talk to him and I thought it was really sweet that I was kind of doing something similar to what we had 30 years ago. So one of the tougher assignments we have to cover is when the players go to Chalk Hospital. As a parent it's always tough to see young kids that are sick. Um, but our players do a great job and there was a really fantastic moment where father-to-be Cole Calhoun was playing with a, a young boy and he has these courage beads and he got a new courage bead today and Cole helped him put it on his necklace and it was really sweet and Cole took his time and I just got down low and it made it more intimate at a child's perspective and those are the photos that, that are priceless. Um, you just can't beat it. They're better than anything in baseball. My passion for photography overrides work. I could not be the person I am without photography. I love photography. It drives me. So to be able to go out and shoot these guys, whether it's Hector or Mike or even any, any of the people that we have in the stadium, it's the best job in the world. And I am so lucky to do this and to capture it for the organization and to be one of 30 of baseball that gets to do it, um, it's not really a job, it's, it's a love. It's a love that I get to actually do every day.